when, when you become an FDA product, you have to list everything that's, uh, you know, in, in your uh, formulation. Uh, and, the, and so the safety of the product is, is basically this. The chemistry that's in that bottle is basically the same chemistry that's in your uh, white blood cells. Uh, in fact, it's even created in a similar manner. Uh, instead of being created on the uh, cellular level like it is in your neutrophils, which is a type of white blood cell, we do it on the industrial scale. So we use massive amounts of electricity instead of enzymes. But everything that's in that bottle, including the hypochlorite, is uh, found in your body because it's a chemical reaction. Now. Our principal agreement, uh, I'm sorry, our principal ingredient that we have in uh, Analyte F is hypochlorous acid. Now, remember that part that says acid. And in chemistry, everything that has an acid has a complementary salt to it. Well, in this particular case, hypochlorous acid, its salt is sodium hypochlorite. And both of those things, it, you know, think of it as uh, different sides of the same coin. So when you have uh, a, I'm going to say the word aqueous, which water. So when you have a, a solution in water, which is the only place that hypochlorous acid can exist, uh, when the pH of it is slightly acidic, like analyte F, it is the uh, principal and predominant species that's in the water. So our product contains mostly hypochlorous acid. And if it was, um, but we still have the chloride ion that floats around in it. So we have hypochlorous acid and the chloride ion. And since we're made out of salt water, there's some sodium that floats in there too. Now, occasionally, the sodium and the chloride ion find each other and they mix, they, they attach. But since the solution is acidic, it's temporary. And so they do this a lot. They form and they fall apart. They form and they fall apart. Now, the hypochlorous acid on the other side, and since it is a acidic solution, they grab onto each other which is the hydrogen and the chloride ion, and they're like this. They're stuck because it's acidic. Now, if we were in a different solution and it was uh, more alkaline, the opposite would occur. We would have more sodium hypochlorite and less hypochlorous acid. So in the formulation that we're in right now, this formula is so similar to the, uh, the chemistry that's in our white blood cells. And in our white blood cells, we have these temporary pairings of sodium and the chloride ion, and it forms what everybody thinks of as bleach. But it's like this. Actually, it happens much faster than that. And it's just a temporary thing. But because we are that FDA... 510 cleared product, we have to put that on there. And so we're safe. Uh, you know, our, uh, you know, not that anybody should do this, but I mean, you know, but you could, you know, pick that bottle up and drink it. You know, it doesn't taste very good, but it's not harmful to you. Don't do that. You know, I'm not, but I'm saying you could. But if you took that same amount of, say, you know, regular household bleach and did that, don't do that either because the outcome is much worse. Uh, so we have this really safe uh, product based on our own body's chemistry and, you know, that's why it's safe. But we do have to list all the products and so occasionally we have to say, yep, uh, at any given moment in time, there is a combination of this sodium hypochlorite uh, together. That's why we have to do it. 